Hey kiddos, glad you came for a reading lesson today. Sorry, no camera. That just means you get to use your ears and your brains a little bit more than your eyes today. For today's assignment, you will need to also look at a second assignment in our Google Classroom. If you're in a different classroom, you may have a different assignment, but it says read a book. Yes, again, at the top. After you watch this video, you can go to that assignment and complete it using the information and the example that you see today. So today we're going to talk about how a summary of a book gives the important information. A summary of a fiction book contains the following the title and the author. If I'm reading a summary of your book, and especially if I think it sounds like a good book, I want to be able to go back and find that book so I can read it for myself. The main characters. It's always nice to know who my story is about. The setting. It's nice to know where the story takes place. Does it take place in my hometown or somewhere far away? The problem and resolution can give me a good idea what the story is probably about. The author's message, theme, or big idea. What is the author trying to say by telling this story? Remember, a summary tells information in order. Please do not tell me the end of the story before you tell me the beginning of the story. And in fact, maybe not include an exact ending. Don't give me a spoiler. It has only the most important information. A summary does not include little details, otherwise that would just be rewriting the story. Let's take a look at a story we have already looked at. Just a few pictures I have snapped and uploaded to remind you of The Crane Wife. So The Crane Wife by Odds Bodkin and illustrated by Jenity Spearin. If I get the names wrong, I apologize. So just a quick flip through the first couple of pages just to remind you about what the story was about. A crane, a wife, and a crane again. And here is the summary. The Crane Wife by Odds Bodkin is about a poor man named Osamu who wants a wife. One night he helps an injured crane. Afterward, a beautiful woman named Yukiko shows up and they marry. Yukiko secretly works to make a magic sale, which makes a lot of money. Osama is greedy and demands that she make more. Finally, he realizes that the woman is actually the crane in disguise who is harmed her who has harmed her own wings to make the sails. Yep, typo there. She flies away and is never seen again. All right, kiddos, now it's your turn. Go find that book, go to our Google Classroom assignment, and use this example and information to help you write a summary.